And now, ladies and gentlemen, Parade Marshal Jackie Sewell leads the field of celebrity drivers down the stretch for this first event in the second annual George Plimpton Celebrity Challenge Cup Series. And now moving in front of the grandstand, ladies and gentlemen, number one in the field, internationally renowned fashion designer Ola Kuseni, 74 years old, 110 pounds, in great shape, driving the Pacer original creation and tutored by the pretty Debbie Evilsizer. Number one, it is Ola Kuseni. And number two, right behind him, the colorful owner of the New York Yankees. The Yankee boss, George Steinbrenner, and he is behind the Pacer pinstripes, his coach, Tommy Homer. Number two, pinstripes and George Steinbrenner. Number three in the field, and he'll be trying to show off when he sits in the pocket. It is World Pocket Billiards champion for three years, Steve Miserak, driving three rail bank and coached by Mike Swinney. And right behind him, All Out Blitz and the big Kim Bo Camper, all pro defensive player from the Miami Dolphins, coached by Bill Popfinger, number four, Kim Bo Camper driving All Out Blitz. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the host of this series, driving number five, Paper Pacer, participatory journalist, author George Plimpton, and his coach, Tommy Houghton. Ladies and gentlemen, a hand for number five, George Plimpton, driving Paper Pacer. And rounding out the field, one of the great all-time NFL quarterbacks, Kenny, the Snake Stabler, driving Snake Charmer, and coached by Castleton Farms, Danny Shetler, number six, Kenny Stabler, and the Snake Charmer. And a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, our celebrity drivers will be going a mile. It will not be a five-eighths of a mile dash. They will be going a mile, and they'll be starting on the back stretch. And our starting judge, John Haig, will pick them up, as usual, in front of the stands. And they are preparing for the start of the George Plimpton Challenge Cup. Starter John Haig pleads with the field, bring him slow. Field of six celebrity drivers now moving in line behind the gate. From the rail out, fashion designer Ole Cassini, New York Yankees owner George Steinbrenner, world pocket billiards champion Steve Miserak, all pro defensive player for the Miami Dolphins, Kim Bo Camper, author George Plimpton, and Kenny the Snake Stabler. The field is in the hands of the starter. As starter John Haig offers instructions to the drivers, they swing on to the backstretch, and this field is in motion. And there they go, they're off on 
lot of pissing, and it is the Yankee boss, George Steinbrenner, taking charge with pinstripes. Kim Bocapper going after him. This could be a rematch of last year, but Kenny the Snake Stabler is strong on the outside with Snake Charmer. And at the rail, it is pinstripes and Snake Charmer in third right there. Kim Bocapper in all out blitz, getting away for us at the rail. It is Steve Miserak with three rail bank. George Plimpton biding his time in fifth. In sixth, it's Ola Cassini. They're by a quarter. It's a good, respectable 31 seconds flat. They're in the stretch for the first time. Kenny Stable is wide with Snake Charmer, and he's battling it out with pinstripes and Yankee boss George Steinberg of the rail. A length and a half back. Kim Bocapper right there in the pocket. Two lanes back at the rail. Three rail bank, and Steve Miserak, author George Plimpton, going the long mile, and Ola Cassini with original creation is saving ground. And as they race over to the half, it is George Steinbrenner a length and a half, and he takes the field by the half mile marker. One out, two and four fifths, and now they move on to the back stretch. Pin strides strong on the front end for George Steinbrenner. Moving up at the rail, Kim Bocapper and all out blitz. They've had the perfect trip. Kenny Stabler is still wide with Snake Charmer on the inside. Steve Miserak and three rail banker, two and a half back. Followed on the inside, Ola Cassini, original creation, and author George. George Plimpton and Pedro Pacer, they're looking to make their move, but as they move into the final turn, in command, it's the Yankee boss, George Steinbrenner, and they go by three quarters in 134 and two fifths. Around the final turn, it's Pinstripes and George Steinbrenner, now Bob Capper bowls off the rail with all out blitz, and he's looking to make an all out blitz on the winner. They are in the stretch. It is Pinstripes, still strong for George Steinbrenner. Bob Capper trying to get to him all out blitz. They're running out of ground. Pinstripes, all out blitz at the wire. It's Pinstripes. He hangs on for George Steinbrenner in 207 and 3. The Yankee boss wins for the second consecutive year the George Plimpton Celebrity Challenge Cup Series. Judges have posted the order of finish, and for the second consecutive year, George Steinbrenner has won the George Plimpton Celebrity Challenge Cup Series at Pompano with a mile in a 2 0 7 and 3. It took the lead from the outset and never looked back. Now, ladies and gentlemen, here they all come. All six of our celebrity drivers. Ola Cassini with number one, original creation, and now the snake taking back Snake Charmer quickly to the paddock. Three rail back is Steve Miserak. They're heading back, as is Kim Bocamper putting in a valiant effort with all out blitz. George Plimpton and a paper pacer. A tough trip tonight. And the winner for the second straight year, driving number two pinstripes, Yankee owner George Steinbrenner and harness horse owner. Ladies and gentlemen, quickly I will give you the order of finish, and then we'll turn to trackside. Ola Cassini, driving original creation, finished third, coming on strongly. George Steinbrenner, the winner behind pinstripes. Steve Miserak and Three Rail Bank, they were fourth. Kim Bocap and All Out Blitz, they tried, they finished second. George Plimpton and Paper Pacer on the bottom, finishing sixth tonight. And Kenny Stabler and Snake Charmer with a tough trip, finishing fifth. Now, ladies and gentlemen, 
I direct your attention trackside where North American Harness Racing Marketing Association Executive Director Bob Rosilli will now conduct the festivities. Bob. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be interviewing each of our celebrity participants in just a moment, but you all should know that each of the celebrities was out here competing today for the charity of their choice. All of the celebrities will be competing in a series of seven races, and the winners will qualify for a championship celebrity race August 14th at Saratoga. Overall, the celebrities you see here today will be earning well over $50,000 for various charities. participants up here first Kenny Kenny Stabler let's get Ken up here first Ken you're a first time racer here uh, in harness racing at a couple of days training you're gonna be competing in a few other races but first why don't you tell us how, how it feels being out there the first time uh, it's a real blast I tell you what it's uh, it's quite an experience to be behind a strong animal like that and, and think you have somewhat uh, control over them uh, there's not as many bumps and bruises as it is in football but if I had to do this for a living I'd probably starve to death but it's been a real blast and I really enjoyed being here with you thank you Kenny you went a little wider the first turn you're going to be back again to try it again about a month from now in Washington DC you bet I don't really think I took the shortest route around here but we'll get we'll learn something out of this and we'll be in Washington ready for them all right the short way home next time Ken Stabler thank you Next, where's George Plimpton, the host of the George Plimpton Celebrity Challenge Cup Series? George, last year you started your career in this race. You raced seven times last year and you won once. Was that a fluke? Are you ever going to win again? Well, after today's performance, I'm not sure that I ever will. I've never seen so many uh, rear ends in my life. Uh, Horses and competitors. Miserax, wow. Stabler has seen a lot of rear ends in his life, but you haven't seen that many as today. That was a lot. All right, let's get Steve Miserac over here. Steve Miserac, three-time world pocket billiard champion. What do you want? Steve, what again, you want? I'm mad. I'm mad I lost. Are you going to try it again? Are you out for a rematch? I'm driving in the fifth race tonight. <laughs> My horse is uh, scratch one. Steve, you've had some practice over the last couple of weeks, but you're one of three first-time starters today. How did it feel actually being in the race? The only thing heavy that I've lifted in the past five years is my pool cue, and uh, riding the horse is a little tougher. Steve, you're going to be back with us a couple of months from now, about two months from now, in the Red Mile. We'll look forward to giving you another shot at that winner's circle and qualifying for the championship. Thank you very much, Bob. It's a pleasure to be here. And thank you. You've been a great sport through this. We look forward to working with you again. Kim Camper. Come on over, Kim. Kim is in this race here for the second year, has had some experience in the harness race field here at Pompano Park. Kim, last year you went after Steinbrenner. You went after him again this year. I see a pattern developing. 
Well, I think there's something about George that just makes you want to chase after him and try to beat him. You know, <laughs> he's just got that uh, that influence. But you know, I'd just like to thank Pompano Park for inviting me here again. It's uh, it's enjoyable. You get to meet all these people and get to race on such a fine track and and be with such good people. And uh, the competition this year was fantastic. Everyone wanted to win, and uh, it was just the most enjoyable thing I could do. Kim, your horse looked a little honorary in the warm-ups and in the race. Uh, was he a little tough to handle? It was a little tough down at the end of the warm-ups, but I took him back in the paddock and put him in a headlock and kind of settled him down a little bit, and he was fine for the race. <laughs> okay, great performance. Thanks a lot, Kim. Oleg Cassini. Yay! All right. <laughs> Oleg, again, Oleg is one of three first-time starters. Been working out the last couple of months in harness racing. You finished third, but you were flying. You were stirring that horse up and flying down the finish. Uh, I'm sorry for the horse. I figured that if I'd uh, driven him a little better, he, he could have won it. But of course, I was competing with a lot of good guys. They all knew what they were doing, and the horses were good. The whole track, the public, everything was so exhilarating that when I was racing there, I didn't even know what I was doing. But I was trying to win. You're going to be back with us again in another month at Rosecroft Raceway. What do you take out of this race that you're going to apply down at Rosecroft? Well, I, uh, I think that now what I know uh, will be, I'll start a little early on my move, and I'll try to, to do justice to whatever horse I get. Okay. Oleg, it's been a pleasure working with you, and look forward to seeing what happens at the Red Mile, and hope uh, you'll be with us at Saratoga for the championship. Thank you. And now, the winner of the George Plimpton Celebrity Challenge Cup first leg here at Pompano Park and qualifying for the championship at Saratoga is George Steinbrenner. Well, I, uh, I enjoyed it. I want to thank you folks and the association and thank Pompano and thank the owners and the trainer and Tommy Heimer for his expert instruction. And I don't care if I never see Bo Camper again and Staber. I mean, they worked me over. Staber took me first, then Bo Camper. And uh, I don't care to see it. And I really admire this man's courage. At his age, being out here with these guys doing it, that takes some kind of courage. And he certainly did well. I, I'd like yeah. you to see the replay later on. Oleg was really stirring that animal up, and he was coming at all of you. George, you're in a lot of companies, a lot of teams, but you certainly set an example and go out and perform and try and are successful when you go out and do it yourself. Uh, I guess you're a man who believes in setting an example and it's great having you participating in all this. I still don't care if I ever see Bo Camper chasing me again. <laughs> okay, we got a year, a year wait till Bo Camper gets another crack at you. This tour is going down to Rosecroft Raceway. And in our next race, three of these participants, George Plimpton will be back, Kenny Stabler and Oleg Cassini will be back. They'll be competing against Senator Lowell Weicker, uh, Mark May of the Washington Redskins, uh, Billy Kilmer is probably going to join the tour next time around, and you're all welcome to join us. Let's hear it again for all of our celebrity participants in the second annual Plimpton Celebrity Challenge Cup. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that does it for our leg, the opening leg of the second annual George Plimpton Celebrity Challenge Cup Series. Again, we thank all the participants in tonight's celebrity race, a bunch of great guys, and also thanks to Bob Rosilli, Executive Director of the North American Harness Racing Marketing Association.